An Incredible Winter Wonderland at Horse Mountain in Humboldt County, California. This is a John's Travel Adventures production. We live at about sea level, but if we want to see snow in the winter, we can go inland on Highway 299. We saw the first bit of snow at Lord Ellis Summit, elevation around 2,200 feet. Then we went downhill quite a ways um, until we crossed Redwood Creek, then came up the hill. We pulled over at the scenic area just before the top of Berry Summit. The scenic area is around 2,700 feet. That's where you start seeing more snow. You get some great views, both the mountains and the valleys. Um, that go down. Then to get higher up, we'd take the turn off to the right to go up the Horse Mountain Road. It looks like a white Christmas. Do you carry chains? Yeah. Oh, you have chains here? Yeah, they are so oh, okay. and stuff. But what I found out is people often put them in the front tires for the weight of the engines there so you get better traction. Mm -hmm. The front Christmas pictures here. They're yeah, it's really oh, nice. Like, this is our white Looks Christmas like Christmas. Christmas. White Christmas. White Christmas. Christmas. From here we keep going up in elevation until we park ab above 4,600 feet in elevation where there's a lot more snow. It's icy. They didn't really clean the road much. That's why they require nice. chain. Oh yeah, you're right. But this, that place where I park my car is a lot better and safer yeah. because it has Room wow, look it has, at that. Oh, wow. wow. He's having a good time. So oh, they have kids there. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, my God, it's beautiful. Super nice. It is. Look at that. It's so beautiful. Yeah, you're right, the um, the road is getting narrower. Yeah. Passing places in case you can't. Snow. It looks 
like winter wonderland. Here we come. It is gorgeous here. I guess somebody is keeping an eye on everybody around here. With the snow. In case somebody drifts off somewhere. It is covered with snow here in the road. I've been up here many times with a lot of snow. Sometimes it's a lot deeper. They plow it as well as they can. Up about six miles, then they sort of leave it um, to go cross country skiing or other stuff. But there is a road that goes up into the, um, to the communication towers, which we walked up on this trip. It's like a winter wonderland around here. John, we're well, enjoying it for you because you're driving. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, they plow some of it. Oh, my goodness. God, it's so beautiful here. Super nice, I think. This is fun. Good thing we came here today, I think. Yeah, it's nice here. This is today. Super nice, the guy nice. did it. I used to go on the plane. Or small pen. No? No. Oh. oh my god, look at all the trees. We're near the parking area. Not that people park all over the place on weekends. I mean, this is. These are perfect Christmas trees. Botanical area, huh? We parked, then we walked around a little bit near the parking area. There's some families with kids on sleds coming down the hill. That's the hill I usually go up. It's a great little spot. Some people often try to go further up in their four-wheel drive vehicles. It usually doesn't work so well, and they eventually figure that out. I've seen some damage by going into snow that's just too deep. The big ruts often make it harder to cross-country ski there, too. But eventually, you know, they give up, and um, there's miles and miles of nice snow for cross-country skiing. 
The first hill is great for um, kids and sleds and stuff. You can see the tracks that the cross-country skiers leave here. And once you get away from the parking area, it's like really quiet out there. There's some spots off the trail that um, you can see the Pacific Ocean from, but the snow is deep enough we didn't want to sink into the snow going over there this time. Although where we park is around 4,600 feet elevation, maybe a little higher, once we get up this hill, we're just about at 5,000 feet elevation. If you keep going a ways, you go some long downhills, then some uphills, then some downhills. You can really go for miles.
probably hear a little beeping sound. I wondered what it was at first when I was in the snow. The snow plows are backing up and they're trying to clear a bigger area for the parking area. That's the sound they make when they're backing up. There's another road that goes up from the parking area. I'd only been there once years before when there was a lot more snow and it was a lot narrower. So I didn't really in a rush to go back, but we decided to walk up there. It goes up to some major telecommunication towers, much more than just cell towers. And the distance is the Trinity Alps. And the other way is the other road, road we were walking on in the snow too, which is a little away from here. Many years ago, a family would put up a rope tow on Horse Mountain and people would ride up it and ski down from there. Eventually the insurance got to be too expensive, so they had to shut it down. There are some plowed pullover places. We kept walking up the hill till about 5,000 feet elevation. As you can see, it's starting to snow a little bit, but we didn't want to turn around too soon. As you can see, these are way bigger than regular cell phone towers. Um, I think the microwave things maybe for long distance phone lines and it looks like they probably deal for the connection for the cable TVs or something because there are tons of wires and there's a few of these towers it's not just one and they have tons of wires going up them
Now we're down the hill near the parking area again. Winter Wonderland. So beautiful here. Super nice, I do it, oi. If you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button or bell, um, hit like, and leave your comments below. Interesting. I have to get my eyeglasses put. Oh, okay, get it. I'm an expert. Four naman dito ka rin po sa sa North Dakota. Thank you for watching. Happy holidays, everyone.